I'm already getting to that age where, uh, it's tough for me to relate with uh, kids these days. Like, I had such a different, the world was such a different place. Like, the, the cell phone and smartphone technology really revolutionized everything. And I think back on, you know, when my grandfather would tell me stories about, uh, you know, uh, poverty and uh, walking to school in the snow. And, uh, you know, it always seemed like, what a, what a different world you were in, where ice cream cost a nickel or whatever the fuck. I'm starting to feel like that now with certain things. And I know how, uh, you know, everybody complains about, uh, about stuff from their childhood and like, you kids got it so good. The one thing that I'm surprised people don't gripe about more is porn. It was so hard to get porn when I was a kid. I don't think people understand how wonderful it is that I've just got a magical porno device that can also make telephone calls. It's fucking phenomenal. When I was a kid, you couldn't get any porn. Why didn't my grandpa when he was doing all that complaining about walking to school in the snow, he didn't do, you know, five minutes on fucking how tough it was to get porn. Imagine how tough it was to get porn in the 20s. They didn't even have Playboy and shit. That stuff had to be like some dark, dark, like, black market underground stuff just to get some good smut, you know? Anyway, I was a teenager in the 90s, and this story takes place in the 90s, the late 90s. I think maybe 96, 97. Boy, somewhere around there. I think I was like a freshman in high school when this happened, but uh, there's going to be some stuff that I cannot explain, and uh, you're just going to have to chalk it up to, I was a weird kid, and I had weird friends, and we did weird shit, and that's it. Like, there's some stuff that that's, that's as far of an explanation as I could possibly give. Just, I'm a weird dude, I had weird friends. This is where it begins, and it begins in a very weird place. My friend, because he didn't have a smartphone, uh, had gone out and he bought one of these. A Polaroid camera and for those of you that don't know you take a picture with this thing and you'd have like 10 shots or something and film was ridiculously expensive and one would pop out right away and you'd have your photograph right there it develops its own pictures it's very cool <sighs> or was so uh, he bought one of these to take pictures of you know weird stuff that we were doing one morning uh, after uh, smoking weed and getting drunk all night teenagers having a good time we ate a bunch of pizza he went in and he took a dump and uh, had to come and alert me and my other friend about the size of this dump. And obviously he didn't flush because he wanted us to admire this thing. So we go in there and we look at his dump and it's just, uh, just a bowl of diarrhea. Just, it was horrific. And I know many of you are turning off this video now, but this is, uh, this is as bad as it gets. There's no more, there's not that much more poop talk uh, coming up. But uh, he decided to take a picture of this with a Polaroid. And we had this Polaroid of diarrhea, and we're sitting there, uh, you know, kind of coming to our senses after a, a foggy night, and we get a phone call, on the landline, of course, and it's our other friend, and he's like, Dude, Mr. T is gonna be at the mall! So, of course, I mean, we had to go, uh, and somehow, one of us came up with the idea, what if we got Mr. T to autograph that Polaroid of poop? And it would look like, you know, he was signing his handiwork. And we could put it on the wall and show everybody and it would be hilarious. And, uh, and I think I might have been uh, either the stupidest or the ballsiest of, uh, of the three of us. So I was like, I'll do it. Let's do it. So we go down to the mall and Mr. T is in the center and there's a line to meet him. And uh, this, is, uh, this isn't like B.A. Baracus Mr. T with all the jewelry. He had like a couple of neck pieces, but not, you know, and no feather earrings and stuff. But he was Mr. T. He was 90s Mr. T. So we're waiting in line to go meet him. And we get up to the line. We take a picture with him. Mr. T is wonderful, by the way. He's the nicest man in the world. He's hugging everybody. He's giving out handshakes taking pictures with everyone so the three of us we get a picture with him with the same old Polaroid and uh, then uh, we're getting ready to leave and I go hey uh, Mr. T would you mind signing something for me and he's like sure sure and he brings me over to a table and he's got a marker ready to sign whatever and I'm getting very nervous at this point and uh, so I put my the Polaroid down on the table and I put my hand over the photograph just exposing the white under part of the Polaroid and I go, yeah, could you just sign this for me? And I've got it on the table, and he comes up behind me, and he puts his arm around me, and uh, just just a really warm and wonderful man. He's got his arm around me, and he goes, uh, uh, what you got there? And I'm like, uh, it's just, you know, it's just a picture. Would you just sign it? And he goes, no, come on, let me see what you got there. And I'm like, could you just sign without looking, please? And I'm like, 
I'm fucking horrified now. Mr. T is like a nice guy and I'm being an asshole here. And, uh, you know, he's got his arm around me. He's like, come on, what do you, what do you got there? You got a naked lady? And I'm like, no, it's just, just a picture. Could you just sign it? And at this point, I, I think he's like, you know, he's on to me. I am not, you know, I do not have good intent here. So he's like, come on, come on, show me what you got. And it's like a little bit more forceful, but kind of friendly. And then I'm like, okay, I'm going to show him. Maybe he's going to think it's funny too. Uh, you know, let's just go for it. I lift up my hand. And he looks at the photograph, and he's still got his arm around me, and then he just goes, Toilet stew! Get out of here! And he, like, kind of turned me, and, like, pushed me in my back, and, uh, security escorted me out of the mall. And, uh, yeah, I never got that autographed Polaroid of diarrhea. Which, you know, I never thought I would be, uh, <laughs> I would live the type of life where that would be a sentence that I could, I could state. I never got that, <laughs> that autograph Mr. T diarrhea, but, uh, boy, wouldn't that have been special. I'd probably still have it framed on my wall. But I gotta say, Mr. T, pretty fucking cool guy.